now i ground my uh, plant leaf samples uh, it's appear like uh, powder like appearance well chopped uh, this is not actually not like it's a pulp but fine particle size it's appear as a pulp because it has already in uh, some liquids actually uh, water of the plant leaves water content uh, however now it's well chopped now i extract these uh, pigments uh, catenoids and chlorophyll both by cold acetone uh, i will add uh, cold acetone small amounts onto the my leaf samples you can see now when i add acetone the green color actually within uh, this green color appears because of the chlorophylls but inside there are a lot of other colors also to see that colors we have to do a column chromatography use column chromatography at the column chromatography we have we can see there are lots of colors red yellow orange and lot of colors however uh, these are the this liquid part is the uh, carotenoid mixture there are a lot of carotenoids already in this uh, plant material we have to add more acetone again and again by Uh, simultaneous chopping or grinding to extract carotenoids you can see then uh, the color green color is now step by step uh, green color washed into this acetone and our plant material get now slight yellow color and some unground particle are appear as green color but when we add acetone we can see most of chlorophylls and carotenoids are extract into the added acetones you can see now these acetone we will uh, separate from this mortar and we have to filter them why you can see there are a lot of plant materials also in this extract so we have to get only acetone fraction not plant material so we have to use bushnell funnel bushnell funnel with the vacuum system as a simple vacuum system you use this uh, tap connected vacuum system this is a bushnell funnel you can see bushnell funnel uh, the our flask which will contain our extract actually filtrate so uh, we will let what man number 1 uh, filter paper initially we have to uh, wash this filter paper with acetone that is open now vacuum is building inside of this flask initially we wash properly the uh, our filter paper we use aluminum foils to cover the flask because uh, carotenoids are very light sensitive no so uh, get rid of light we use uh, this type of aluminum foil low and any that growing paper or any other things you can cover your flask first of all we have to 
uh, wash the filter paper and the glassware properly. Okay. Now we can make our vacuum for the easiness of filtration. Next we will cover our glass apparatus as much as we can. Working with the single hand is very hard but uh, I will manage. Okay, however, you have to uh, cover it properly. So, now the extracted acetone portion, this acetone portion, I will transfer into this uh, Bushna funnel by using this type of somewhat big, somewhat bigger pipette or pasture pipette or any other glassware uh, dropper anything so you can see I get initially it's very dark green color extract please remember that because finally you are unable to see this type of green color Okay, now we transfer it into the our Bushna funnel and it will filter and filtrate pill goes to this flask like this we have to do we have to add more acetone more acetone into the plant material and extract it into the acetone extracted uh, plant pigment we will transfer into this Bushna funnel and we will filter the top of the filter paper some, somewhat dry after filtration so we have to add acetone onto the filter paper to filter them into the go them into the flask unless they will degrade You can see more and more uh, pigment extract into this acetone and we will transfer that extracted acetone into the Bushna funnel and filter. That is the extraction procedure. Okay, you can see now after adding, uh, I think uh, around 15 ml acetone by using dropper, uh, the dark green color of the plant material reduced into light green or uh, light yellow color. Uh, However, further plant pigments extract, so I have to continue the extraction method until the uh, color of this acetone portion uh, convert into uh, light yellow. This is green, no? Light yellow or uh, white color or colorless actually the color of acetone so I have to continue the extraction okay now 
now uh, i close to final part uh, these acetone fraction actually look like slight uh, green color very pale another 10 to 15 acetone portions may sufficient for the extraction most of carotenoids and chlorophylls are extracted already you can see now its color color of the plant material now mm uh, very close to white color as coconut powder the color of the acetone also very pale so we are very close to finish the extraction step okay now we extracted all the carotenoids uh sufficient carotenoids if you can see the dropper initially it was uh, very green color now it's appears very very pale green uh, yellow color because now all the carotenoids are extracted but now uh, the cellulose particles we we ground very well the plant material that's why the plant cell walls also broken and the cellulose fibers also broken into small pieces so those cellulose fibers are appear as uh very pale color so uh, our pigmented materials carotenoids and uh, chlorophylls already extracted into the acetone another one or two droppers of acetone i added again extracted see its color very equal to original normal acetone but cellulose fibers are there that's why it's appear as this uh, pale yellow color we finished our extraction now wash the filter paper very well uh, if you see carefully there, there are some uh, not ground particles plant particles you have to ground it again again by using mortar and pestle and uh, you have to remove you have to extract all the carotenoid pigments just remember that wash your filter paper very properly and its wall wall of the pushna fana also contain some uh, bright pigments then we are filtering them so wash properly and get all the carotenoid pigments Uh, after finishing the filtration you can see your extract is in the flask the washing solvent fraction now filtering it's very 
dark green color so after vacation finished now it's finished we detach the bushna funnel release the vacuum this is your carotenoid solution so our extraction step is now finished next step is the partition of carotenoids into the petroleum ether to do that first of all we have to keep it in dark place and let's prepare into the partitioning process.